this is the Provoke Prawn, and if you're having problems with your ROG ally because the battery life isn't long enough, then stick with me because I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on how to improve it. I've found when I first got this device, I was getting around an hour's use out of it before it needed charging, which was frustrating. And this is really going to vary from game to game, but I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on how to make the most out of it. This is a 1080p display with 120 hertz refresh rate and some decent power under the hood but it does need some tweaking and configuring. My first recommendation is head over to Armory Crate. If you don't do this immediately when you get the ally, you're not making the most of it. So go to Armory Crate, go into the content section, and then click on the update center. This will give you the latest updates and make sure that you've got everything you need for the ally to ensure that it's updating firmware and other things. You might even get a BIOS update out of this. Also do Windows updates as well. Make sure everything's updated to the max. Now, when you press the button on the left hand side, you can open up the command center, which gives you access to various different buttons in here, which you can press to change the settings. I'm going to give you some recommendations based on what I tried out. But first, I want to talk about what to avoid and the things to think about. Now, obviously, this works at 1080p, 120 hertz refresh rate. So you could do that and then put it into turbo mode, which theoretically gives you the most amount of power and the best visuals. 1080p button only works in desktop mode, so you need to go into your games and set it to 1080p and 120 hertz, obviously. That is gonna chew through battery life really fast. So yes, you'll get great visuals, but that's where you'll get the worst performance in terms of battery life. So actually what you need to do is to turn things down instead. Now I'll leave all this in the description, but what you need to do is set it to 720p mode instead. Limit the frame rate to 60 hertz refresh rate instead of 120. And then in your game settings, so you need to do this for each game, also set the video settings. So that's at 720p resolution. Cap the frame rate at 60 FPS. And then if you can, look for AMD FSR settings. Now, ultra performance will give you the best performance in terms of FPS and a good balance with the overall performance. But what I found is on Forza 5, for example, it makes the visuals look terrible. It's not a great going for ultra performance, improves performance, but it doesn't help with the graphical quality. You can see from the zoomed in look here that is a bit blurry. It's not that great. So yes, this might help with battery life, but it doesn't look brilliant. There are other options, and this is going to vary from game to game. But you can see if you go into the video settings that in this game, for example, there's also Intel XESS, which is another option. You can also go through the FSR settings, maybe try balanced out instead. So these are things that you can do, and there are a number of different settings. So my recommendation is to set the display on the command center to 720p, 60 hertz refresh rate. Make sure you turn on AMD RSR, not to be confused with FSR and different things, but do that before you launch the game as well. That's really important. And then go into the game settings and consider using FSR or Intel XESS and also adjust the graphic settings so they're at 720p and maybe turn them down to medium. All of these settings should ensure that you get a good balance out of the graphics and better performance while still getting a good visuals off the screen. I found that actually at 720p, it runs just fine. Now, this is the case, obviously, if you're trying to push AAA titles at 1080p on this display at a maximum refresh rate, yes, it will look good, but you'll probably find that it will struggle. Now, the other option is silent mode. This is what they'd recommend to make the most of the battery life. Silent mode minimizes the amount of power the device is using but what it does do is it really ruins the fps so you can see here in sea of thieves for example again about 24 fps so in theory not great not very smooth and very terrible but however what i will say is that i've got two and a half hours out of this testing and with these settings i've just mentioned but in that silent mode so if you want the maximum amount of battery that might be well worth considering I would say that it is going to vary from game to game. You can see here I'm back on Sea of Thieves. I put it back into that other mode, not the top turbo mode, not the 25 watt, but the 15 watt mode. And that's a much smoother 60 FPS. But if you're looking at indie games and games that are a lot less intensive, you could consider using the silent mode. It would probably run fine and will last longer. So there are some tweaks and you can get more out of it. But really, realistically, you're probably looking about an hour to an hour and a half, depending on the settings that you're going for. That's my experience. However, I'll leave everything that I mentioned in the description with my recommendations of the settings based on my testing. This has been the Provoke Prawn. Thanks for watching. 
You've made it right to the end of the video, you brilliant legend, you. If you've enjoyed it, click that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and drop me a comment down below if you've got any questions. If you really enjoyed it, consider joining the channel and see the benefits of doing so. Check out these other videos. You might well find them interesting or useful. And most importantly, have a great life.